An Indian man interrupted the U.S. speaker with a fierce speech. Indian politicians, especially those affiliated with the BJP, also use Aurangzeb and his alleged atrocities as a dog whistle to signal their acceptance of hating present-day Indian Muslims. And it's interesting that you people from the United States, when you have so much muck behind your back, from the wiping out of the entire race of Native Americans, and you Europeans having wiped out almost more than half of the world's population across from Australia, in Africa to America, now just like, you know, putting your neck into deep into other people's history and also not being scientific about it, actually. For example, you said you estimated 15 temples or a dozen or something like that. Have you done a scientific survey, archaeological survey of every site possible which has already been dug out or not? And this is, can a genocidal descendant of a genocidal people sit as a judge? Is that moral or fact? Yes, that nation stands on the dead bodies of Native Americans. What right does she have to come here and poke her nose into our history? No, what? Be fair, be fair, be fair, be fair. Have just, is this justice? Is this morality? Is this, is this ethics? In today's density population count, it's 21 billion people that's been wiped out of the earth by your country.